I know there are some heavy users of bubble cloud widgets. I know I am one of them with lots and lots of pages of different bubble cloud widgets and folders, of course, in the new version. It's a lot of work to set these up. In the new version of the app, I have added a new part, a central place for these widgets and folders a list that shows you all your widgets, the orphaned widgets, widgets which you have removed from your home screen but the, saved the cloud. Uh, you have the folders with these yellow icons and uh, this list lets you overview them of course and gives you direct access to these widgets using this circle plus button on the side you can get right into each of their um, settings screen where you can add more bubbles or uh, change the preferences, change the settings for these widgets. It also shows you uh, how many bubbles you have of each type in each of these uh, widgets. You can see most have apps, but some will have apps and bookmarks, contacts, and even task or tasks. In case of folders, the link takes you directly to the folders. If I click here, it shows me the folder right away. And of course, if I want to make changes to the folder, I can either by double clicking and displaying the pencil and getting into the circle plus menu or a handy shortcut is to long press on the background and it takes you to the setting screen and bubble adding screen for the folder. And this is the place, this is the list where you can add more folders by pressing the floating button. It gives you the three options. You can create um, app folders or uh, contact folders or even bookmark folders from here. The link on the top only takes you to the uh, widget screen and explains how to create the widget. It cannot be done without the actual dragging the widget from your launcher's widget drawer onto your home screen. But this list gives you even more options because here just by touching some of these items you can mark some of these and either delete them, I'm not gonna do that now, or export them to any cloud service that you have installed on your phone. I recommend Google Drive as you can see, but it works with Dropbox or any other application because this will send the marked clouds to these applications as zip files. So all the bubbles and settings, bubble sizes and background colors and everything else is packaged in a zip package and saved and can easily be restored later. So this is how you export them. You just hit the export button and it will give me the uh, list of applications which are capable of handling the zip archives. So I'm just going to pick Drive. Drive now takes these archives and lets me pick a folder in my Google Drive where I place these. I have a folder exactly for these. I named them clouds. So I can just hit save and these three uh, files are now uh, being uploaded to Google Drive. It's also possible, of course, <laughs> to import these into Bubble Clouds. You do that if you start uh, Drive or your um, cloud service of your choice. You go to your folder. You see I have a bunch of these Bubble Clouds saved there in zip folder. I have this launcher icon zip file on the top, but I can even mark several ones to restore and this is one of the reasons I recommend Google Drive instead of Dropbox for example because it seems that Google Drive allows us to mark several files and choose to send them to an application such as Bubble Cloud widgets. With Dropbox I could only do it one by one. I could only restore these clouds or import these clouds one by one. 
So I marked the files and I choose send file. And now on this screen, I will have to choose import bubble clouds. That's how I can uh, receive these saved information. So I choose that and you can see how these clouds were imported. And if we look at the bottom now, we have these three imported bubble clouds which can be restored anytime. So let's say I want to restore this apps number one imported cloud. So go ahead and create a new app folder. Uh, I will call it apps seven is good. And when I create that folder, it asks me if I want to start with a blank folder or if I want to restore something. So I'm just going to choose uh, to restore uh, the uh, widget number one, which I have just imported. So I restore that in here. And now I have that folder uh, set up from the saved cloud. Um, that was number seven. I can open it again or I can select and delete it for now. You can also save your settings, not just clouds by themselves. On the widget screen, if you go to your widget preferences card, at the bottom now you have backup and restore settings. So you can choose this and export all your global settings or default settings for your widgets into a similar zip file which can be imported in a similar manner and of course you can also export your smartwatch settings all of them including your clouds your icon packs even the contact clouds on your watch so this is how you do it you go to the wear cloud editor you can uh, go to this new menu item backup and restore and simply choose export and it will do exactly the same thing it packs up all these information into one zip file and then offers you to export it to the uh, cloud service of your choice so i'm going to again save it to drive actually because drive gives me an, an option to change even the file name be before saving if i save only one file and this uh, zip archive is now created and it's being uploaded to the cloud. So to show you how it works, I'm going to now uh, change my icon pack temporarily. I'm going to choose my new favorite, the dives icon pack and apply that to my favorites and archive, as you can see. And I'm going to just apply. It takes, of course, it takes a while. Uh, to complete and now we have the new icons here and they are being uploaded uh, to my uh, watch so here are the beautiful dives icon and they appear on my watch soon um, let me go back to the previous screen and I'm going to make some other changes here let's say I'm going to unfreeze the favorites cloud and now let me show you what happens when i restore the settings so here on the top of the list of uh, zip files you can see the newly saved backup and if i click on the dot 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 menu i now have the option to send this file so if there is a send that's the choice you should pick in some services you will get export like in dropbox or even share you might need to look around which list will give you import bubble cloud as the target of that zip file that's what you should pick and you pick this one and it tells me that the free version of my app does not allow uh, you to import okay i'm back i've upgraded my version of the app uh, to the uh, premium version so now i will uh, go back to drive 
and uh, pick this archive, which I, I saved before. This is, I think, a good demonstration of the fact that you can save your cloud even in the free version, but of course, restoring a backup is only limited to the paid version of the app. So then I send this to import bubble cloud and And the contacts are also restored on the watch. And we are back to the settings screen and you can see the free sizes setting is also restored. So everything should now be back to as it was before. There you go with the Rufus icon pack. One last little trick that I wanted to show you. If you want to duplicate a bubble cloud, it's also possible from this new uh, widgets and folder screen. Uh, you can simply pick a cloud that you want to duplicate. Let me, uh, let's say I want to duplicate these, these contacts. They are beautiful with a transparent background. That's why they look so strange. So I just select that one and export and export. And instead, of picking Drive or Dropbox or Gmail or Save2 in uh, Solid Explorer, which will save it on your SD card, I can pick Import Bubble Cloud, my own app, and then it just makes a full circle and uh, the imported contacts will end up here at the bottom in the group of imported clouds. And here I have a duplicate of this cloud. So let me show you, I'm going to remove mag from here. So mag is gone from this cloud. But if I look at the original cloud up here, mag is still in there. Uh, she was removed from this cloud. So there you go. These are uh, the new additions, the new options in Bubble Cloud Widgets and Wear Launcher.